Hey guys, welcome to Digitrails. And today we are going to be getting a beacon for its bust. We need to dig out the area behind me to make our village. And we have to, so to get the beacon, we need to fight a bunch of wither skeletons to get ourselves some wither skulls. And then we need to summon the wither and we need to fight that wither. I've been gearing up to fight it and now it's time to do it. I built myself a looting sword, which is now called a Grave Reminder, and I got myself some better armor, which would hopefully allow us to survive in the nether a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it will be, do better. I've been trading in my village a lot more, um, so that it will allow me to <laughs> level up quickly and get better equipment. But now, it's time to fight in the nether and get ourselves some skulls. Let's go. Yes! Finally! Yes, finally got one. We finally got one after killing. I think, let's see. Uh, let's go to mobs. Uh, this one's looting, so I think it was like after 40 something. Forty-seven. We finally got one. Okay, back to the slog. I should probably head back towards the base and drop this head off. Set up a ender chest to start putting some of the stuff in. I'm gonna try and get some more stuff to make another one to have over there just so I can restock a little bit easier and don't have to keep coming back and forth for some of my basic stuff.
as you can see not only do we get the amount of wither skulls needed we actually got an extra one so i think that's either going to be a trophy or when we need to get more one less that we need to find oh yeah but anyways now i gotta find a spot to summon the wither to fight i'm going to sort of cheese it and do it underground so that i can control the area so i can then get some wither uh roses so i can use it to hopefully make myself either a wither uh, farm or so I can use it for other farms but now I need to find a place to do it I may do it out in that direction in the field that I got the brown sheep at and do it underground so that I can troll the spawns and I can use a bunch of chickens and a bunch of eggs in that way and then I just get a bunch of roses and I can then use it for other farms so let me go ahead and set up for that but Let's get going. And then we should be on the way to getting the beacon. I have a bunch of potions ready, so let's get going. Yay! Preparations have been made, and now it's time to fight the Wither. I was going to do this underground, but underneath here where I was going to do it is filled with caves, and I figured might as well do it above ground. I have a trench made for it and now it's about to be nighttime so let's give it one more sleep and I have a bunch of mobs underneath it to hopefully get some wither roses so getting more skulls in the future may be easier or I can use it to contribute to some farms but now let me get some sleep and then it's time to fight the wither
Well, two problems. Well, three. One, I died and lost all my gear. Two, I now have a rogue wither in my world. And three, no beacon. So, I need to go recover all my stuff and go kill it with her. Okay. Time to run back to my base and deal with that. First, I gotta sleep. Wow, that was an intense fight. Lost both my regular set and my backup set. Time to finish what I started. The withers a little bit over that way. I need to go finish what I started. I put together just some basic tools and armor and upgrade some weapons. Hopefully I'll survive more than a minute. Luckily it should hopefully still be underground. Let's get going. I need to turn on the replay so I can hopefully get some better view. And oh, let's hopefully this will work. I pretty much lost all my good gear. Luckily, it shouldn't. It'll take me a little while to get it back, but it shouldn't take me too, too long. But let's finish what I started. Time to add a little bit of commentary to this. My plan here to deal with the rogue wither was to lead it down into the cave because I had dug a little bit of a path. But obviously that didn't go as planned. But I kept trying to get my armor to get it down into the path. I would get down into the path, but then I would just die of the wither effect. So I came up with a new plan. I would dig in from a little further away, underground, set up a little bit of a base, and make a long corridor all the way over and fish it into that corridor and tackle it that way.
The closer I got, the more I heard the withers banging. The more my nerves intensified, and my hand actually started shaking, because this wither fight had been going on for so long, and so much armor had been lost, that I actually was getting really nervous. I genuinely started getting scared. This was my first vanilla wither fight, even though I've been playing Minecraft for almost 10 years now, on and off. This is when things took a turn for the worst. I could hear the wither, but I couldn't see it. I searched high and low in the caves, not knowing that it was blocks, and I mean blocks, away from me at moments.
I went to the surface thinking, had it broken out? I'd covered up the holes to make sure it didn't see anything on the surface. It couldn't have, but I thought maybe I could go to the surface and see if it was up there and bring it back down to fight it. I finally started zeroing in on it. Now the gold was simple, I had to get it out of that hole and into the path that I had dug so I could beat it. Simple, not easy. Brought him into my trap, now time to finish the job.
but honestly, it may be better if we see the finish from my perspective. Finally! <sighs> Finally, that he's won. He was beat. That was a journey. Oh God. Oh. Oh. So many deaths. So many losses. So many gear lost. Oh, that is going to be a hell of an edit. I am... I, I just... Oh, God. Oh... I'm slowly working to trying to get myself back to how I was pre-Wither fight, but I built up the beacon platform over there. Now we just need to turn this nether star into a beacon. So we turn three obsidian. Put the glass. Put the nether star in there. And now we have a beacon. Now let's go place this up there. And give it a... Am I... There we go. Not jump, I want haste. Haste 2. And now I have haste 2. To mine out this area. This is just iron that I'd been hoarding from my iron farm for this specific purpose. I have my prospector, which is a efficiency four, or sorry, an efficiency five mending pickaxe, and now I should just be able to just insta mine around here, which will make this so much easier. But, I'm not going to do that this episode. Because, that is going to require a lot of work. And, I think this episode is running enough on time. And I think I'm going to keep this to only getting the beacon. I need to recover. I need to do some digging. And, I need to rest. Because that wither fight took everything I had. It became no longer just getting this beacon, it came protecting my world from the wither that plagued it. I had a rogue wither and it just needed to be dealt with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe because now that I have this beacon, I have so many awesome projects that I can now unlock because I know what I want to do, and I really look forward to doing them. Um, it just, it's going to take some time for me to do them. Now it's time for me to get digging. And remember, when you're in the digital trails, watch out for digital bears or scare your rogue withers. Those guys are tough, but not digital bear tough. See you guys later. Bye.